Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, Sonic Keys, here again, and welcome to another episode of Talk to Me in English. Today, we have a Gen Z recording artist, Mr. Matrell. What's going on, my brother? <laughs> what's going on? What's going on, with you, man? <laughs> For y'all that don't know me, my name is Matrell. I'm a young independent artist that makes music to make you feel good about yourself. And uh, yeah, I'm here to feel good right now. You feeling good? I feel amazing, bro. <laughs> I feel amazing. I'm excited you got the opportunity to, to swing by because I know, you know, you're based out of Atlanta right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, but 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 Jersey native. <laughs> yep. Right? Jersey, you're. <laughs> that, that's what I'm talking about. So now, now let, let, let's break it down, bro, because you do a lot. <laughs> okay, you do a lot. Uh, but let's go back. Give me give me a timeline of from the moment you said, all right. Um, I want to do music because you're you're really doing it right now. <laughs> so it's like we need to know where it all started. I got you. I got you. So, I mean, uh, so I started right. Um, I was around two when I started playing piano. Right. So around two years old. Yeah. So <laughs> to give y'all some impact or some insight on that, my dad he was a jazz musician, um, a jazz pianist out of uh, Detroit, Michigan. And then he uh, transferred into producing, music okay. producing and stuff. So he's worked with people like The Dream, Beyonce, all that stuff. So wow. he's always had me around the piano since I was like yeah. two years Day old. One. And, you know, so I was learning my skills, all that. And then, you know, over time, as I would be going to these sessions with him, um, like I'd just be in the back, you know, just vibing, just chilling. And uh, one day, you know, I work on his computer he taught me how to use like logic and stuff like that so i was like all right you know just building on it here and there and so it's always been a part of my life like ever since i could even remember growing up i was just making music you know coming up with funny songs and just you know it was just like that's just a part of me yo you, i'm sorry to cut you off yeah, but you know ahead. you know what's crazy now that i'm listening to your story mm. i feel like we have a similar story word yeah because it's like, you know, my parents also come from the, the like, my, my father's a musician. My mm. mom sings. So it's like, I feel like I can super, like, it's crazy. Like, you can I can relate. relate. Yeah. It's crazy. Because I remember young, just watching my dad play the piano, play the guitar, you know, and, and just rocking out. You're like, damn, like. I want to be able to see what's going. Like, how, you just start playing. You, you just start picking it up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You just start. It's just like that's dope. That's dope. Um, I'm excited. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you don't even know what you're doing. Like you right. said, you just like picking it up, man. So for me, for a long time, I just thought it was normal, like mm -hmm. to just do that type of stuff, music and all that. I thought kind of like everybody had it. You know, I'm young, whatever. But um, you know, as I'm growing up and uh, the the I would say the pivotal moment is I was around 12 years old. My older cousin, um, you know, his mom was like a singer and stuff, too. So, like, he sang and rapped. And uh, one summer I spent with him, he put me on to, like, J. Cole and Kendrick mm. and stuff. Because I wasn't even listening to rap. Right. I wasn't. I, I didn't even really, like, know about, like, that. Yeah. I wasn't in that you world. You just doing, like, the basic. Yeah, like, like you feel just me? Just music. Exactly. Yeah, if just... I heard stuff on the radio, I liked it. You know yeah. what I mean? But I was always in the studio and stuff like that. So it was either radio or studio music. That was it. Right. So he started showing me, like, rap and stuff. And I remember this one summer, he was writing, too. So uh, he was in the booth rapping the song. And I just remember thinking, like, wow, that's, that's so cool. Like, I want to do that. So, like, as soon as the <laughs> session was over... I just, I had a notepad. I just like, I had a beat that I had made and uh, I just started writing to it. And then like, that was the moment where I was like, okay. And then in sixth grade, I did a started from the bottom parody. Uh, sixth grade? <laughs> For the first time, it was a parody. It was a parody, yeah, but it yeah. was my first time on the mic. Okay. And when I just was, I was like, yo, this, this is fun. Yeah. I love doing this. So. Uh, for that Christmas, I was like, let me get machine. Let me get a, uh, uh, for those that, that y'all don't know, machine is something you can make beats on. I was like, let me get a mic, um, all that. And I started recording in my closet and stuff. And that's when I was really developing my passion for it. So that's kind of how I just, you know, got into that's it. That's crazy. Yeah. Bro. That's wild, bro. Yeah. Nah, so. yeah I'm telling you, it's, it's like, we're, we're right there with it. Because <laughs> 
as you're as you're talking, I'm thinking like, yo, that that's that's actually pretty creepy. <laughs> How <laughs> act, it's like, did you live my life? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's yo, the music, man. It's the music. Yo, it's it's like you get so passionate just to, yo, I want I want to make. All right, what do I need? I I what's the cheapest way I can start? Start you know? exactly. I just want to start. Whether it's a little mini keyboard, whether it's the B pad, exactly. whatever. Get me so, started asap, so I could just go. I had ideas and stuff. And um, yeah, I just kept going. Uh, there was a, uh, I was fortunate enough to have a, a uncle. He was doing a, like, he was teaching audio engineering to like kids in Newark at a, okay. uh, what's it called? It. It was it was like a clubhouse. It's off of like Ur- I don't I don't remember the street. They were do, they were doing stuff for the kids like yeah in the, the kids community so was, or yes. just you to, okay. So it was like boxing and stuff there. So uh, he he had a studio in the back. So after that. Um, you know, I was already recording around that time and my dad tells me like, yo, you should go check out what he's doing and stuff. And I was stubborn. I'm like, I already know how to rap and do all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, why do I need to go learn it? Like I'm learning it right now. I'm right. good. But I eventually went and then I became like a after that was like training for me. Like after, after school, every day I would go over there, um, from eighth grade to like ninth grade, I would just be in there just learn learning and stuff and there was other kids there um so we're sharpening each other i'm helping right. them with the writing uh i'm producing all the beats for them we're all mixing it mind <laughs> you we're like seven to 15 that, all people all types of kids in there just i'm pretty sure that it's just the energy in that room the energy crazy. it was it was just it was fun it, mm. it made me it gave me something to look forward to and kept me doing bullshit you know, mm. so I really appreciate the power of that. Music, right? Yeah, real <laughs> talk, real talk. I probably wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for those those years. So RP, my uncle Kaz, but like yeah, wow. he really put in, he really did that. So like he mentored me up and like that's where I was engineering that. That's how I got all those skills. And then um yeah, like, you know, from there I was just taking it serious. I would use the studio time to record my own music and um yeah, bro, I just like really, really got into it. You started it. diving in, and That's I knew beautiful. it was possible. I yeah. didn't, I didn't think twice about it. I'm like, okay, this is what I'm doing. That's crazy. Yeah, because then a few years later, then you started, you started here mm-hmm. at, the studio. at the studio. So it's like you took all those skills, and then you took. You started making money off of it, exactly. which is beautiful. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah, bro. and then you were, you were with us for what, like two years? Yeah, like a year and a like half, a two years. Yeah, um, it started like the beginning of like or the ending of like 2018, I say, and then yeah. all the way to like uh like 2019, and then I would come here and like uh, I don't know if I came here during COVID, maybe I did, but I think right before COVID. Yeah, right, like, right before, before COVID, hit, yeah. I came up here like in the beginning of 2020. So, uh, yeah, no, I just took those skills and you just have to like really understand that, you know, if you're going after something like you have to hone in, hone Mm -hmm. in, get your mindset all about that stuff. And then you'll start seeing like, oh, shoot, I just got a text from, oh, it's an opportunity, you know, Mm -hmm. but because you've been working now you're prepared for that opportunity. The five P's, we, baby. Yeah, you, Proper you, preparation prevent, prevents <laughs> poor performance. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> exactly. So it's like doing that, that's that's a good one, the five yeah, P's. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We live Talk by. to me in English, yeah. baby. That's what we're here for. That's what Absolutely. we're here for. I love it. But yeah, nah, like, um, that's the, that was, that was the main thing. That's what stuck, that's what kept me going. Yeah. I'm like, all right, no matter what, if I stop, I'm never going to see it through. You're 100% so right. So let me just do it a hundred percent and because it was a point of doing it 90 percent 80 percent yeah you'll never you'll never really reach that full potential so then you leave to atlanta yes yes right? you leave us damn <laughs> i had to go i the had to go left us, bro um and this, this is something i would probably want to talk to and um you know for people out there that's trying to start stuff um you know i felt like me moving it wasn't just about, okay, I'm moving to Atlanta, um, and that's that. I feel like me moving, uh, it didn't even matter. I, I don't think it would have mattered where it was. I mm. think I needed to be around less distractions. I needed to Oof. be in a in a spot where I was uncomfortable. Mm. Because then you really have to sit there and face yourself. Like, what am I doing? You have to ask yourself those questions because you don't got... 
your boys hitting you up every day because you're not there. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's like <laughs> now it's like okay, hold on. You don't got you don't got. Can I curse on here? Yeah, of you don't course, got no hoes up there. Like you still got to go around. Like you feel me? You gotta you gotta get into it. You gotta break it on. You gotta break it in. And um, yeah. So like that was one of the biggest things for me. I had no distractions. All I could do was focus on my future Ooh. and where I was. Like that's that's that powerful was right there. Nah, like that. You ha- is that the distractions? They keep you. They keep you in the now, which is cool. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying. I'm I'm not saying like, hey, listen, don't enjoy today. Yes, you. For but sure. you got to also see the bigger picture. You feel me? It's, and if you don't see the bigger picture, then you're just gonna be enjoying today, today to a point where you're like, damn, I'm 40 years old and I still haven't even done nothing. Done nothing. <laughs> exactly, because you just been enjoying enjoying today, today, right. today. And now today you're 40 years old. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, you got three kids, <laughs> baby mama Bob, drama, Bob, all that, bro. So it's like. <laughs> Um, and you know, no, 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 not to that. You guys can make it happen. However, whatever the situation, it's just about you got to be ready to step out of your comfort zone. Like real talk, you That's have true. to do that because if you don't, you're not. There's nothing gonna be pushing you. Mm. You're not gonna have nothing to be, you know, to strive for because you're comfortable. You're complacent. Yeah, you feel me? You know when you got everything around you is it's easy to be like uh well everything is not so bad and it's that's a good mindset to have but you you want to put yourself in in a in a rock in the what is it rock in a hard place or something yeah, like that yeah something, you wanna, something like that yeah you want to put yourself in a hard place so that yeah. you could really not i don't want to say like just torture yourself but no but yeah no you you got to you got to set yourself it, it, you got to put yourself in that in that corner in that corner you know and, and really like sit back it, and it's like i was listening to this book because I, I do audio books mm. so, I, so half of the time i don't even know what the book name is i just <laughs> click a book and i just start listening and one of the books they were talking about like you got to go seven wise deep mm. meaning if you're going to do something ask yourself why and then well after, after you ask yourself why, why that, that? And then why that? Why that? Why that? Do you really find your your core why? Which is crazy. Yo, your core why. Yo, that's the whole thing that was screaming in my head. Yeah. Core why. Core your why. core why. Mm-hmm. That's crazy because I I never heard that before. Like seven whys deep. Normally yeah, it's just like yo, find your why. Yeah. You know your why is important. Your why is your important. Why is but so then when important. you find your why's why why why, <laughs> you're like oh man. It's, it's it gives you more purpose. <laughs> now you know why you're doing this. You know yeah, what I'm saying. Bro. So. This is this is yeah it. nah we can so let's let's get into uh well yeah ahead, no bro. no we, uh, listen bro we 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 got to talk because because now I really want to get to the the juice of it right yeah you know you you left to um Atlanta you started really focusing on you yeah less distractions and that we all seen it that has now turned into a business like what you what you was making for fun now you're like all right no this is my business now Mm -hmm. so now you you're making that 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 transfer which most people they're not sure exactly how to even start so talk to me how you even started saying all right you know what i love what i do but now it's time to take it to that next level Mm, okay so um well first of all right i realize uh i gotta give a lot of props to my pops right Mm -hmm. because you know he he um after he was like he still produces and stuff, but he started going into e-commerce and marketing, online marketing early when it was like 2010, 2011, mm. right? So, and he's had his fair share of, uh, you know, artist development, dealing with new artists, labels, how they go about doing it, especially when they really used to do artist development back then, like mm-hmm. the 2000s and all that. So he was seeing all that. And as he was learning e-commerce, he kind of started to put two and two together, like, Oh snap! This is kind of the same marketing is just framed in a different way. Mm-hmm. So um, now I realize that one, not everybody is like that fortunate to you know have that source of um, information. But but just because he had the information, it still didn't make sense to me. Like he was explaining to me about it when I was in high school and stuff like that, but I didn't really know mm-hmm. what it was. I had to go and deep dive. It wasn't until I started selling beats online that I really mm. was like, oh, people check their emails. <laughs> 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 people like, you know, you can create relationships with people mm-hmm. on the internet. So I'm gonna get into how how you even start going about that because 
you have to realize that mostly everything in this world is marketing. Everything is mostly marketing. everything is marketing. <laughs> the reason you like Nike, marketing. The re, you know, yeah, all yep. that. It's all great marketing, right? So what you got to understand is the first, the first step is understanding that. And a lot of people, um, they DM me like, "Yo, how? Mm. How do you do this?" And the first question I always ask them is, "Did you Google it?" <laughs> I'm si- I'm I'm serious. I'm, I know that's I'm the spending funny, some. That's the funny part. It's like, did you? Go- You're a hundred percent right. They're like, I don't know. No, I did. Like, bro, you did have you Google a, it? You have a phone in your hand mm-hmm. or you have a computer. Did you Google it? Yeah, Yo, that's and <laughs> and most of the time the answer is no. Mm-hmm. And uh, a boogie said in the song, he said, I googled how to make a million or something, right? <laughs> but that's serious. Like, if you yeah. Google how to make a million, there is definitely a wiki how st- ten step. Mm. type of things of places you can take to you know at least start that journey yeah. and go on the way so that's like literally the first uh thing i asked that's people. how i build a, ju- uh, a whole juice bar i just googled, googled it, it. I, exactly how to build a juice bar the first 10 things it told me that's exactly that's what, what i did exactly and it, <laughs> and it and it, it works because the internet is is you gotta you guys gotta be resourceful it's not even about relying Ooh, on the internet yo. you gotta be resourceful you gotta be resourceful like you gotta understand there's so like we live in the best it's the best time to be an artist entrepreneur anything that has to do with the arts is the best time right now like don't don't wait because ai is coming it's here here. it's here so (laughs) that's what bro we we gonna talk man but (laughs) you know so like at the end of the day right so now i told you guys all right google it right Mm -hmm. but now i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you what i found on google um basically and youtube as well oh yeah bro. so youtube university shout out yeah <laughs> no cat so look so the first um first thing i looked looked up in terms of you know building the fan base is uh how to build a fan base Oof. take notes take notes <laughs> literally it's 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 not it's not rocket science guys you gotta literally ask the most straight up questions in a specific way on google you'll find your results yeah and on youtube too so i looked it up i said yo I how do this. you i bro i, bro, I promise this, you no this is this this, I this is it like <laughs> Like this is there's no shortcut. This is like just it's not. yo, it's right in your face, and you're trying to deny it. <laughs> exactly. Yo, most artists are like, yo, what do I do? I've tried everything. I was like, you didn't, <laughs> you didn't try, <laughs> you didn't try anything. You tried what you thought of and stuff. It's cool. When you go to the gym, what are you gonna do? And when you're trying to lose weight, <laughs> just start working out on random machines. Yeah, no, you are gonna get your ass to a personal trainer or some shit. Somebody and that's some that, that know what they're talking you. about mm-hmm. and do that. YouTube. And Google, boom, as long as you do your due diligence, you're good. So there was this one video, and I wish I remembered this name, but he's a dude. You'll you'll see him. He probably makes these videos once a year. Mm -hmm. It's how to build a thousand fans in 90 days Mm. for free. Okay. Free, guys, free. No money, no dinero at all. Right, so there's no excuses, guys. Like it's on the internet. Wow. And I've utilized this, and it works. So this is this in this short is a real game right here. This yeah, is a real in short, game. this is what it is. So, say for example, um, I have a t- you have to have a target audience, right? You need to know who you're talking to, um, and why you're talking to them. And the best way to come up with that is not an overnight answer, but you can think about it as. What type of people do you see at your shows or want to see at your shows? What clothes do they wear? Where do they work? Where do they live? Who are they? Are they girls, boys? What ages? All that stuff. So mm. get all that down because that's going to help you guys a lot in the like the future. Everything starts from knowing who you're talking to. So it's like building your avatar. Your, yeah. Your, your, your perfect customer. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Your audience, customer, it's all business. Business is Walmart does this shit. It's exactly. everybody. So boom. Once you know that, right? So say, for example, um, all right, my target audience, um, I have a target audience of 18 to 25 women, right? Mm-hmm. Who do they listen to? Lil TJ, Polo G, right? You know? So mm-hmm. I could go to Lil TJ's page, right? Or a little TJ fan page if you really want to get people that are fan fans. Right. Go to a little TJ fan page, 
just fo- just start following. Start following all the people that look like they would be your audience, and you don't gotta overthink it. Just just start, just start following. Pre- just start pressing. Just follow. start <laughs> pressing follow. Now, mind you, Instagram will flag you if you do over sixty actions. So try to follow at least between like thirty to okay. thirty people like that. Um, at least by the hour. All right. Okay. So boom, uh, hit hit them, follow them. The ones that follow you back, go back and interact on their page and be genuine about it, you know, because you're not famous. You're not Drake. Mm. So you got to remember, there's no status stopping you from them seeing you as a normal person. And you are a normal person. So you interact with them. Show them some love. Go like a couple pictures. They post something funny. Just comment laughing faces. They just graduated. Say congratulations. Mm. Stuff like that, you know. Yo, this this man is giving the whole game. It's on YouTube. Not- <laughs> <laughs> this you- is on you <laughs> <laughs> exactly there we go come on guys but it's uh, yo exactly guys that's talk to me in english man i'm talking to y'all in, in five year old <laughs> you get it all right so boom yo. once you follow these people back and you interact with them you send them a message and the message should not be Hey, I'm an artist. Check my music out. They don't care. They don't give a fuck about that. Mm. What you need to do Please. is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to start. Yo, thank you, bro. <laughs> thank you. We get so many messages on a daily basis of links. No. Nope. Of, 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 do, you, do you really think we're going to sit here and just a random link? Oh, yeah, a new song. Let me go listen to this. No, guys, that shit does not work. Nobody It does not work. Cares. So stop. I'm trying to, I, I want to help y'all and save y'all some some trouble. Nobody yep. cares. You have to give them a reason to. Yeah. All right? So how you can do that is after you've interacted with their page, you just send them a, a genuine DM. Like, so for example, I use the graduation um tactic. Of course, if you're going for mm. people that's 18 to 24, either high school or college, they graduated, okay. right? So they, have, they might have their picture up there. So you can say, hey... Uh, came across your account, whatever, um, and like, yeah, congratulations on on you graduating and stuff. Like, um, looking forward to seeing more of your posts or whatever. Like, it doesn't have to be, uh, like formal, just genuine. You know, talk how you talk, mm. how you would talk to your friend. Like, you're meeting a new friend. That's what you're doing. That's what you want your fans to be. You want yeah. them to feel like they're your friends. Right. Right. So, boom, you do that. They will most likely hit you back. Right. right. Because think about it. When you see somebody follow you, you check their page. Right. Who is this? You know, especially right. if you don't have a lot of people following you at a time, you're like, who is this? Right? Mm-hmm. And then you sent a nice DM. You showed love. It would be kind of rude for them to, you know, not at least say thank you or, you know what I'm saying, like that. And from there, you can kind of co- introduce yourself like, hey, you know, I do this and that. And, uh, yeah, now they could be interested. They couldn't. They could not be but it's the awareness that's right. step one you built your awareness of who you are now they follow you now if you're consistent with your posting and you're posting content that's going to you know you're promoting your music and stuff like that you post your good content then it just shows then they start commenting because you commented on their picture mm. then they start commenting then they start reposting then they start telling their friends like hold on this is actually a good song let me oh I actually believe in you now Right. And then it starts it starts like that, but it That's all starts crazy. with building the relationship. And you can do that fan by fan. It's free. All it takes is time. Yeah. Which time. most people don't like to do because they feel like that's too much work, but you have time to do other bullshit. Yeah. So it's like, come on. I like, do you can do it sitting in your car, uh like when you're parked up somewhere, you could do it while you're eating breakfast in the morning, like right before you shower, after your shower. Uh, right before you go into work, like whatever, like it's not a, it's not a sit down on my phone for two hours and follow people. Nah, right, just do a couple here and there. Ten minutes, go follow people. Check your phone. Thirty minutes later, you'll see the follows coming in. You start DMing those people, you'll see the messages come in. It'll be throughout the day, and as time goes on, in ninety days, you could actually build a thousand wow. real fans, people that. Feel like they know you, you interacted with them, all of them, and they wow. support you. So now, imagine if you do that in a concentrated section. Guys, this is the game right here. This is this is the game. 
I'm trying. I, I'm t- you told me to talk to them in English. I'm no, gonna talk no, to them in English. No, you man. definitely in plain old English. <laughs> this is it right here, bro. And I appreciate okay. you for 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 being very transparent. You know, with that because a lot of people, you know, they, they try to hold back because like oh, I don't want people to 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 know my my strategies or I don't want people to do bro. this because I want to be on top. For some reason, in this music shit, it's always like a competition it's, thing. Yeah. But it's like at the end of the day, bro, there's so many people in this world. Like, yo, you can have your whole set of. 20 million fans and I can have my whole set of 20 million fans and we're chilling. Chilling. You know what I mean? <laughs> and our fan base can, know, can each, know each other. And now we can do shows together. You know, we do so many partnerships together because the same people that, that mess with you, they can mess, mess with me. me. Yeah, it's like, come on, bro. You yes. know, l- learn how to open up, partner up with people and actually do the work. You know, sit there and do the work. And if you don't want to do the work for whatever reason, hire yourself a social media manager and tell them, look, this is what I need. This is what I need to get done. And I need report at the end of the month. Boom. That's it. There's virtual assistants, guys, that do oh, this yeah. in the Philippines for yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> For five dollars <laughs> an hour. It's like, stop playing, guys. There's yeah. too many resources out here. I just want y'all to know it's not, it doesn't, luck is a thing, but luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> if you stay prepared and you meet the op and the opportunity comes, mm-hmm. you don't gotta get ready. You was already you, ready. That's what you say. You, <laughs> you ready to show up and show out. So yeah. as long as you stay prepared, you take yourself serious enough, not too serious, but serious enough where that you're gonna apply this and you know, treat it like a job. It, it's it it has to be a job. Yeah, man. You have to do it when you don't wanna do it. Same way you got to wake up at 9 a.m. and you don't want to go. Same way you got to, damn, I don't really feel like interacting with people on Instagram today, but it's your job. Yeah. What if you had money on the line? You would definitely be doing it then. Exactly. And you do have money on the line. You just not seeing it. Right. But it's right. there. Is and it? by you walking away from it, you missing out on potential thousands, tens of thousands. Enough for you to really be like, damn, I'm, I, I don't have to work. I'm doing this yeah, is I'm my doing business. music. This is my business. Bro. And it's fun because you not and it's not just with music, guys. It's whatever whatever. If you're selling art, you're selling um when you starting a business, it, you want to create those uh relationships with your customers and clients, make them feel like they know you mm-hmm. so that you can really capitalize and you know, get the gains from it. Absolutely. Yo, that's bro, that's yeah. it right there. <laughs> Yeah. Like if 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 you don't stop this video right now and go take action, there's something seriously wrong with you right now. Yeah. <laughs> like and I, and I, I get it. it. And it's it, like the game is right here. The game is literally right there. Go ahead and start follow. Go, first of all, write down exactly what your avatar should look like. Okay, understand your perfect customer. Right. Mm-hmm. Then go ahead and find out the people, the the influencers that already have, have the that. similar. You know what and I'm doing start, right now? And that's it. I'm pressing the easy button. The, the <laughs> hello. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get a button. And, and <laughs> it's a, just a uh, hello. Yeah. It's 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's right not there. it's 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 simple. It's mm. not it doesn't have to be complicated. You don't you don't have to do all that stuff. The, everything I just said I learned just by Googling it, guys. So it's like really if you and you just take even some of what you heard today and, and apply it, you will see instant results. Like, I'm not lying. And then, the, you know, there's just, there's so many ways to go about it, Misa. It's like, once you're in that world, you start seeing more things, newer, new companies that can help you do what you do. The more stuff tools, like, you're like, oh, you're shit, like, oh these were all here? Automate. Yeah. Like, you can start what? automating the process now. Ex- you, can, you have your CRM now. Mm-hmm. So, all right, bro, we're going to have to dive in because yeah. I'm excited now. Um, so now, because because you're doing all these things, I'm assuming you're pushing now everybody to go somewhere else, to your world now. Yes. So talk to me yes. about your world and how, how you even thought about like okay i need to build a world outside of instagram because most people think oh i got ten thousand followers on instagram I'm lit. that yeah i'm lit <laughs> that's that's my fan base that's cool. so so talk to me about the actual fan base yes 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 <laughs> see that's that's what matters that's ultimately what matters you can have their instagrams and stuff but you guys got to remember these companies are in it for themselves right mm-hmm. meaning instagram wants to keep people on their app if you don't post stuff that keeps people on their app they won't show it 
mm-hmm. right? And sometimes you might post good content, and it still won't. And it still won't. <laughs> <laughs> it still won't hit they the want algorithm. You to pay. Yeah, exactly. So how do you how do you get around that, right? How do you get around Sp- Spotify streams? You getting paid less than a cent per per stream? How do you right. how do you capitalize off that? And really, the, to me. the important <laughs> the important part. Is um, you have to develop a list. All right, so this is some real. This is some this, real. This is the real game, game right here. Oh this is some God. real, real I'm game. I'm excited now. I got. Hold on, I gotta. I yeah. gotta get ready for this. One, this is the <laughs> hold exciting. on. Let me. Let me. You know. Get comfortable. Let me, let me. Let's. Let's. Let's talk. All right. Yeah. 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 All right. This is the real, real game, y'all. You have to start a list. Yes. People don't don't know what I'm talking about when I say a list. There's probably some of y'all that have uh, maybe like Walmart emailing y'all when there's a mm-hmm. flash sale or Zara or what. I don't know. It's Forever 21. Right. You know how they got your email? You gave it to them. <laughs> That's simple. You gave <laughs> you it to gave them. You gave it to them for like a 20% discount mm-hmm. or something at the store, right? So now they have your email. And now every time they have a sale or whatever, they email you on your birthday. They'll send you a little, all that, right? So building that, that's a list. You're a part of Forever 21's list or whatever emails you've received. You're part of their list. And what they're doing is email marketing to you. That's it. So they're nurturing a, that lead, mm-hmm. a.k.a. you. They're nurturing you and getting you excited. So when it's time with the, with the perfect offer. You sell. you a customer. Exactly. Boom. And chances are, if you buy once, you're gonna buy again. Exactly. So now you now you take that and you apply it to the artist world. Okay. So now I'm an artist, right? And I like the world. I like the uh, fact that you said world. Mm-hmm. Matrellworld.com. That, that's Go ahead. Right. <laughs> Matrellworld.com. That's it. Your I, own website. Your own your website. Own website. Why? Because the same. You you want to make one. You want to make sure that. You don't leave um, the internet, and it's, it's so many like distractions and like clicks and links, and you can end up on YouTube. You can start on YouTube and end up on Twitter. Mm-hmm. It's 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 <laughs> it's crazy, right? And it, it, that's just the world we live in. Right. So because of that, you're on Instagram promoting, and that's cool. That's your main. If that's your main source of promotion, though, you're competing with every millions of users that are promoting that content. Right. Not to say don't post it, but just you got to keep that in mind. I need a closer way to reach my fans. So what you can do, right, is you can set up a landing page. And this is all on YouTube. So (laughs) y'all y'all do y'all do diligence and put this together. Take notes, whatever you got to do. You take your landing page, you create your landing page. Right. You got a landing page. Boom. Right. Now you have your landing page and what you want to do is you want to give something away of value for mm. free mm. in exchange for email and or number, if you can collect those as well. Mm. Name, email, and or number, right? And what do you usually get for free? Um, So I give uh, four, I give four songs, four unreleased songs. Wow. Uh, two videos and like pictures, photos, right? And I use them at, and I and having bonuses, and also they become a part of uh, the sequence, which I have uh, eight episodes that I've made, like almost like a web series about my life. So I took the time to kind of write different stories about my life and my story, and put that together. Wow! You don't have to do all that, but it's a great way to Build let your a audience know. Yeah. yeah. So they can understand. Who, who, like, who are you, you know? Like, yeah, that, that was cool what you gave me at the beginning, but it's like... Who? Yeah. Who is this person, mm-hmm. you know? So, um, yeah, so you, it, it doesn't have... It just has to be something of value. So, guys, you got to think about, all right, me as an artist in my position right now, what can I give people that's valuable, that's going to make them want to give me their email, right? Mm. So, for example, I did the songs because the way I framed it was um it's like i send my friend i send my song i send my friend's song all the time you know and i don't want to treat another supporter like they're just a fan like i want to treat them like my friends so i'll send you some unreleased songs 
Mm. So I frame it like that. Um, that's how I first started framing it in a way. Uh, and just doing it like that. So you want to have your landing page set up so that you're collecting leads and you're giving away something for free that they want and value. So just take some time to kind of come up with a free offer. It doesn't necessarily have to cost you money, but as long as it provides value to who you're giving it to, right. then it then it does that. And once you do that, you want to have you can go to Fiverr to do it or do it yourself. But you can have somebody set up a sequence or set up your own sequence of emails that every day or like, you know, twice, three times a week, you just stay on their mind and you just check yeah. how they're doing. You guys don't have to like write your own stories or you like set up your own sequences. Like there's places like Fiverr that, you know, you can hire people to, you know, set that stuff up for you. So uh, if you don't have the time to sit there and just be technical and stuff, you know, I personally don't really enjoy that stuff so there's other places and people that have talents that you know you can use as a resource yeah. to get the stuff done so like you just you just do your uh your due diligence on that and once you find the, something that works for you cool work it out if you want to do it on your own and be hands-on even better because then you're learning the process mm. so uh once you kind of do that the importance of that is um keeping like the keeping them engaged in what you're doing. You know, you want to you want to give people a reason to root for you or cheer for you or be on your side. Mm -hmm. They want to they you want them to believe in what you're doing. So, the more they know you as a person and they feel like you're their friend and stuff, it gives it more like a okay, like yeah, I'm 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 with this guy like yeah. his music, you feel me? It 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 hits for me, you know? Right. And I like how he sends me episodes or I like how he sends me emails and checks up on me and stuff like that like no artist has never done that f for me that's what that's what the fans think and the only reason i know that is because that's what they say to me mm. they tell me yo no artist has ever done this i can't believe i'm actually talking to a rapper right now you know what i mean <laughs> and mind you it's all just about how it's just the framing and stuff they'll respect that boundary but it's just about as long as you keep that connection and you keep it cool and you show them that they're seen as a fan, yep. it's like, all right, it makes a whole lot of sense for somebody to support you rather than you're just, check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out. Mm -hmm. It's like, they hear that Stop all the, the time. Check me out. Stop, Stop it. Come up, the, <laughs> use the thesaurus. <laughs> yeah. There's different <laughs> ways to say it. <laughs> but no, nah, like for real, it's just about the framing and how you, um, you know, you want to present yourself as somebody who takes the music seriously. Yeah. So I even say for people that, you know, they they say they're artists, but then their Instagrams don't sh reflect that. Mm. Start a new Instagram. You know, keep your keep your personal stuff personal. Start a new Instagram. You know, you you can it's better to start from zero because then I I want to be honest like the people that you you know they'll like your music and stuff, but they're not going to Chances are they're not going to buy as many tickets. They're not going to buy the merch. They're not going to listen to your music like that. It they, just is what it is. They usually follow after they see everybody else that doesn't know you <laughs> start fucking with you. Yes. You know? <laughs> I can, yeah. I it, can. It, it's sad, but it's the truth. It's it like is. The, the most they'll do right now when you first starting up, it's like, hey, bro, look, I see you doing your thing. Keep it up. Keep okay, it up. Okay, cool. But you got to never, oh, I can't right now. But somebody that doesn't know you, that that really mess with your craft they would they would actually call out of work make sure they're good to go so then they could be there on time to see your performance and that's that's really where that's where, where you got to start is. thinking about that's where it is know. guys that's 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 yeah. what it is talk to them it's it's, it's about that you got to bring you have to be able to bring people out you have to be able to get people to stream and and get people to go and build and have that that power where you're like yes i just dropped a song like let's go guys let's let's celebrate this shit you know yeah. what i'm saying let's celebrate we just got a new song it's not you feel me make it about and uh like make it about the movement you know yeah. what i'm saying make it about the journey i like that um and you know every the opportunities will come like i've been i've started this campaign i started it like in the summer of 2021 and I remember I, I made the commitment to do every Friday Night Lives every Friday, mm. right? It you it can be hard because 
you I mean if you don't have a lot of followers on on Instagram let alone like if they're all people you know it it like you can't just sit on live and play your music <laughs> right <laughs> they're going to be out so um but I remember starting uh, you know with the with the little fan fan base that I had and like it would be like you know five viewers you know five six viewers um just like you know yeah just there just, steadily right they'll be hanging out and it's like dang like how am i how am i supposed to do this with just one person like i know like people would probably feel good about five let's let's i remember it was like one and two at the end it would peak at like five six and but it was one to two people staying till the very end wow and those are the people that that love you that that you want to pay attention to you want to show them love because they're showing you love right then and there but as i kept doing it the consistency I'm growing the fan base. I'm reaching out to new audiences. I'm bringing in new new fans. I'm posting music. I'm posting content. Now, every time I do Friday li Night Lives, it's another avenue for them to really get to know me. Mm. It's another thing. It's another thing to look forward to. I have fans right now. Like, are you are you going live on Friday? Like, what's going on? <laughs> you good? Like, are you are you back home? Yeah, like, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, or they text me like, I'm so sorry, I missed your live. Like, I was at work. Like, are you going live next Friday? I'm like, yep, wow. 7 p.m. Eastern. You'll get. And I have their numbers and stuff, so I'd send them a text when I'm going live. So. I don't you have do to the mass text messages, the mass email, email, all that. Wow. So that way, this man is running the business. You have you have to because Instagram is not going to notify all your followers you're live. Mm -hmm. So you have to rely on basically yourself yeah. in the, in a way. Like you want the, something done right, you got to do it yourself. You want fans, you got to grab them yourself. Instagram can hold fans, but there's so much content on there. It's easy for them to get distracted. What you have to do is take them to a platform, your own platform, your own world, and kind of trap them there yeah. in a way. You're hundred percent right, and it's crazy because we we always talk about this here, and I feel like you know certain artists just don't understand the importance of having your own space outside of Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, so you rather spend money into uh, everything else but having a place where you can drive that traffic so if today you drop the new verse a new hook a new full song whatever is it that you drop that's another chance for them to now go and be like you know what let me go check in was we'll, we'll see what what's going on in in, in my trials world right exactly. and that could be the chance where now they're like oh he's actually not that bad i i, I like this and then now my gonna what, what he's gonna do he's gonna sell him he's gonna sell him his merch his next uh uh show that he got coming up or just a, a private uh, you know meet and greet and so many other ways that you can maximize so, it so, so at many. the end of the week you're like Wow, I made fifteen thousand dollars as an independent artist just by offering these services, providing providing a space where my fans can feel like they're you know they're in this experience. Mm -hmm. Versus, hey guys, um, I'm going you know I, I just posted something on Instagram. Make sure you like and follow. Like Instagram is not paying you for the like and follow. No, nah. and even even if they were, especially like the reels, they'll get. Mm -hmm. What is that? That's that's only a little portion yeah maximize that one stream versus one t-shirt t-shirt oh man oh man <laughs> it's just crazy your return on investment is crazy it's crazy so that's why guys stop sending these uh, um these links right yeah just uh, without hey, intention without int oh i like that without you got because that, it, because I, you could send it you're right you could send it but if you don't have the intention behind it then it's like what is it for you it's very, very, you got to be very big on being intentional. Like, mm. don't just do stuff for no reason. Like, if you're going to send the link to everybody on your Instagram, you feel me? Don't say, check me out. Mm -hmm. You feel mm -hmm. me? Frame it in a way. Hey, how are you? I hope you, I hope your day is going good. That's the first thing they read. That's going to make them open up right. to the rest of what you got to say. It's all about the framing and being intentional about how you want people to feel when they come across you and your music and your craft whatever it is like that's like that's that's just something that if you don't have the intention behind it it kind of gets lost in the wind and people feel that they don't 
like especially Gen Z, like we know when we're being marketed to, we mm -hmm. know when this stuff is not genuine and when somebody right. is just trying to get us to do what they want us to do. We know that we're we're the kings of that. <laughs> but you got to remember too, we also know how we react to the people we're fans from. Mm -hmm. So you guys got to you I feel like a lot of artists they don't understand. They it's so hard for them to even make it make sense cuz they don't see how they're fans of certain people and how they react Ooh. to certain and like they don't they don't see themselves themselves in that, in that position but mm -hmm. everybody one every single one of us is a fan of something yeah of of someone from their marketing we feel like we know them or we feel like we're so close yes. with the business we feel yes. like we're their best customer and all that and that right there that shows you that other people can <laughs> feel the same way about you it's all right. about how you market it to them. Yo, Macho, you you gave so much game today. It's crazy. Hey, bro, I, you. It's it's crazy. I, I like could, like I like at this going, point, man. you you already gave them the whole framework. <laughs> Guys, just yeah. do it. Just yeah, take just one. Got... Just take one thing. <laughs> Matter of fact, the one thing I want people to to take away from this, um, artists, entrepreneurs, uh, anybody that's out there, business people, anybody that's out there that's starting their craft and that wants to make their own money and start their own movement whatever it is you have to google it <laughs> that's the one thing i want people to understand just google it google it <laughs> and maybe don't take google so um i guess real like uh, what is the word like direct that yeah then don't take it so literal there yeah, we go don't okay. take it so literal but it's about find find the information if you don't know something Go find out how. Yeah. Don't, you know, don't bother, um, like, you know, people be busy and stuff, especially people with knowledge. And they all had to do it on their own. So you can wait for a response or you can get your answers in 15 seconds yeah. and start doing it today. That's I, the one thing I want. No, you're 100 percent. You're 100 percent. Now, now, my child, before we get out of here. Yeah. I need you to at least give me one or two tools, tools, digital tools right now that that somebody can say, all right, listen, I want to put that together. You know, what what should I use? Um, OK, well, I want to tell you all to Google it, but I got y'all. <laughs> I know they're gonna Google it because it, it is on Google. No, nah, I got I got y'all. So what is, um, like, what, what, what is some tools that you can some, say all right, that has helped you? you know simplify the the automation process or simplify just the overall sales funnel um okay so there's a lot of different um different like websites that you can use um it depends on your budget for sure for sure so okay. make sure you guys uh like look for something that fits in your budget something um you know that can in the most efficient way get what you need done so uh, I've heard some free examples for some mailing uh, websites. There's MailChimp. Okay, MailChimp. You yeah. can definitely collect leads uh, through MailChimp. Um, shout out to MailChimp. Shout out to MailChimp, man. Y'all, yeah, I, I started off with MailChimp, man. Uh, then uh, for building a website or at least getting your domain name, there's GoDaddy. There's like, you know... Uh, I use I use GoDaddy to get my domains and stuff. And yeah. when you want to set up a website, um, if you look up like ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels is kind of like you know they're updating now and stuff, but they've been around for a long time. Um, it is uh, like I what I think it's, it's like pricey. it is a little pricey. Like two two ninety seven. Two ninety seven a, a month, I think. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's a little pricey. If you can afford that, go to ClickFunnels and then go to Fiverr and have somebody set your whole thing up like yeah. asap if you can afford that um if not if you search up click funnels you'll start to see all the cheaper free options or what's a free version of of click funnels and stuff so uh what would be uh i i don't know if there's any landing pages if, i don't know if there's any sites me personally i don't know if there's any sites you can build landing pages for free for oh no for free yeah no, not, not that i know but of. isn't wiz one one of them that you can kind of or wix yeah there we go can you wix wix you could do a website but wix not you, it's not a it's not 
a fun it's not a funnel though. no it's not a funnel it's just a website they you, everybody you have to kind of like set up yourself mm -hmm. another thing uh another thing too is uh most of the pages that um or most of the sites that you can build landing pages off of they also have like email mark like email capture a part with that so if you the opt in forms, yeah the opt-in forms all that and they'll capture the emails for you and stuff and then you can take that, implement them into something free like MailChimp and mm. set up your sequence like that. So, yeah, if you guys just look up like, um, I would say land, landing page, if you can't do ClickFunnels, that's what I that's what I would recommend for someone who, who has it. If you can't do ClickFunnels, um, there's different ones. I remember there, I was using something called Heroes by Alex Becker. Heroes? No, yeah, he, Heroes or Hyros. Yeah, it, it was like... Alex, nope. yeah, it it was pretty cool. I liked how they they did the setup and stuff. You um, still use it now, or no, no, no. I I uh, switched out. I switched out. I, uh, I can't. Yeah, you I can't, can't say you... I can't do that right now. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. It's in the business plan because it's uh we uh what's it called white label. White label. Oh okay. Yeah, it's, a, right, it's a white label product. So that's what we're using uh on that side. But um honestly like literally it's it's right it's right right there like <laughs> i switched <laughs> I, I switched from click funnels and first of all i found out about like i said like heroes with alex becker and he if you know if you guys know anything about him he's mm -hmm. all over the internet yeah e-commerce no. from when it first started so he built his own thing i came across that just by looking up alternatives to mailchimp mm. you know so as long as you start looking up in that space, you right. start with MailChimp, there'll be like five, six companies just like MailChimp waiting yeah. for you to sign oh, up yeah. with them. I used a bunch. The mm -hmm. pages. Yeah. <laughs> Send in blue, click funnel. Uh, not click funnels. Is, uh, yeah, Send in blue. Send in and blue. then you got click send. Click uh. Have you used click send? Before? I have. I haven't. You Bro, click send. Drop is some game real quick. What is it? Yo, about? click. So click send. I use it for my text message marketing. Ah. And it's not a monthly, so I only pay on what I send. Send. So you know what I mean? It's a little game. Boom! Right there. Save some monthly income, and uh, just focus on what you want to send. So if you only want to send to a specific list, then you only pay for that. If you want to send to your whole list, you so only you pay, pay for that. that. Exactly. That's okay. And then, and then uh, they have a regular SMS, and then they got uh, the the text, the text, um, the photo SMS. Because you know, uh, it's like, you can send the pictures. Yeah, too. you can send pictures too. So, you know, some some free game yeah, out there. Yeah, there you so. go, guys. There you go. So there, all that to say that, like, how did you come across that? Googling it. <laughs> 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 I can't make this up, y'all. I cannot make this Yo, up. Yeah, I literally just go. I'm like, all right, I need to send text Some, messages. How do I do that? Mm -hmm. And there's, like, I didn't even know about click send. You feel me? So this is game for everybody, y'all. Yeah. So, like, you just have to remember, as long as you, like, look look into it um, and, like, start with those, like I said, like MailChimp, even if you just look up click funnels like i said there'll be more options for you that you can see what's fits in your budget what fits mm -hmm. your needs um, and you could try most of them you could try them for free yeah so you could try them for like 14 day trials yeah. 30 day trials so see if it's worth it get and yeah like don't think oh man i'm, I'm stuck now with this 300 let's see if this works it's like no try it prepare it like at least run a campaign yeah and then for 14 days you can't run a campaign then you might as well just go to fiber and have them set it up. Set it up. And then and run those campaigns like that. Exactly. You know? So yeah, so uh yeah, I mean honestly on on that front, uh to just to like just to say it is just you get your landing page, you uh you capture your leads, your audience, their leads too, because it's gonna lead to a sale. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know if that's why they call them leads, but right. it, it's going to lead to a sale. sale. That's and it. then um on top of that, um once you have your once you have your own platform and your own world, it makes it harder for them to for your audience to get distracted from other marketing and uh resources. If you send someone to Spotify to listen to your song, chances are the next song that comes on isn't your song. Mm. So right off of there, you might have lost a potential fan. Mm -hmm. But if they're on your page watching a video or watching your song, the next then thing. they see your home, merch, info about 
all that stuff you can set it up where people can you know get yeah. to get to know you all in one in one thing so that's beautiful you can either have one spotify stream or one t-shirt sale do the math Come on, guys. The game, the game is right there, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited you got the opportunity to to come through, bro, because nah. the game that you just dropped today is crazy. <laughs> um, And, guys, it's it's right there. It's just a matter of you taking action at this point. Like, Google it. Seriously. I'm, like, that's, I'm uh, telling you. That's the I'm name of the game you. here. It's like stop finding excuses. Stop waiting for the perfect time. You know, oh, well, my song is not ready or, oh, I'm, I'm still waiting for, you know, this to happen. Like, come on, guys, like, just cut it out. OK, because today you you might be 20. Tomorrow you're 35. Ask yourself what happened. You know? <laughs> like <what>? real talk. <laughs> like, talk. how do I get these kids? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, what's going on here? It's like, don't put your, we only have one life. Don't put yourself in that position um when you we literally have all the tools it's like you said Real we have talk. all we have like if my parents had the opportunity that we, we have now yo it'll be crazy it's it's, it's, so serious. it's like that's that's why i make it my business to maximize yeah you know, i make it my business to make sure i'm like okay what is out there because my parents ain't thinking about this you know so we got to go ahead and, and and take action so exactly like and that's that's the thing i i just commend you real quick man just on I, i've seen you come a long way building this whole thing and actually taking artists and you know bringing them up and showing them and bringing that knowledge transfer to them and showing them how they can make money off music and still have fun with it as well too bro i've i've, I've seen it like no i appreciate that bro shit, bro like that's it, man. Real we because because there's a bigger picture, you exactly. know, and, and and I understood it's like yo the the music doesn't just stop at the studio, you know. <laughs> this th- th- that's where it actually that's where it starts. That's where it starts, y'all. You know, that's, that's the where it starts. So so guys, listen, man, take action, do what you got to do, focus on your business, and you know, once again, Mitchell, I appreciate you, um, and. You know, I'm looking forward definitely for you to come back nah, soon. We are, we we're are. gonna have to do a part two because <laughs> we, got, <laughs> we got we got more to talk yeah, about. Nah, I know I could go on for hours, man. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely every time I'm up here, bro, just let me know. I'm literally call away. I'll call you, you call you know. That's what's it, up, bro. Man. We we, we right here in communication. So, yeah, and so guys, thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Yes, sir. Peace.